Sometimes you will find a part that has a central pad in a dual pad layout um, that is actually used as a thermal um, conductor to the opposite side to remove heat from the device to a heat sink. So I'm going to show you what I mean by first creating a part. So click on the, the DX file and click on um, new part. So here we have a symbol and the footprint. I'm going to turn the grid off because I don't want this. Um, I'm going to the part builder and I'm just to create a sample. Um, get rid of that first. Um, sample 8 pin type of device. So if I go on to pa um, parameters that. and select um, the pads to 8. I'm not going to bother setting in um, setting up the, the pitch and the pad size because what I want to show you is um, the general concept. Okay, So now I want to create a central pad that goes in there. That's going to be um, the thermal pad. Now one good good use is, um, of, is a good way to create is using um, guides. So if um, I turn snap off, well snap to um, grid, and turn on snap to objects. Right, I'm going to add um, some some guides. So if I add a horizontal guide by dragging from the ruler and down, and you see as I go near to the pad, and the um, guide will snap to the pad. So this is going to define the the top edge of my um, thermal pad. Drag another one down to the bottom, and that defines the bottom edge. And I'm going to want to define two more edges. Um, so if I, if I create this over, so see it's locking to that um, silk screen edge. We're going to move that silk screen in a minute. Um, and I'm going to use this, this to there. Uh, okay. Now we need to add um, particularly the ninth pad, which is the thermal pad. So we go on to um, add, and I'm going to make it um, pad. I'm going to make this one a just simple rectangle, and just in the centre, and then just drag. I want to um, change the properties of this pad. So um, Does not lock the width to it. So now we can actually change that individually. So we snap into them the, the guides, and there's our thermal pad. And um, if you look on the symbol, there's our thermal pad. You're going to set these names up um, separately. There are other videos that show you how to do that. So now next is a right click and delete all guides because I don't want these guides. And I want to um, sub pick. Uh, well, sub pick I select the source screen properties. And I want to lock to courtyard because I did previously. That source screen was all over the centre pad and it would have really messed up um, the solving. So now we have a um, pad that's connected. To for the, um, to the base thermal pad. Um, so if we go on to um, layers, now if I click on the solder mask, now we see, we see the solder mask which is on there. Okay. Um, I'm going to hide the, hide the solder mask. Uh, next thing I want to do is add some bias to the rear. Now there are several different ways to do that. Um, the um, Simplest way is actually to select the object and convert it to a throw pad. Now that is um, disappointedly um, changed the size, but that's fine. If I undo it and properties. That's better. 
Okay. And so this is um, a thaw pad, and if we look at it in 3D, um, it has copper on the bottom and copper on the top, but there's actually no all going through. And the reason for that is, look on the, on the properties, I need to select it first. Properties, the all damage is zero. I'm going to leave it as zero because I'm going to actually add wires to this to actually connect through. And at the moment, the pad's showing as yellow, but um, click it and turn off your pads as yellow so I can see it to blue like the rest of them. And now I want to add some thermal wires. So if I look on um, add wires. Uh, click add, so that's one wire going on the top. Now, if I um, what, what, if I go on to um, panels, edit. Okay. I've displayed the um, array rectangular um, control. Now, this particular wire I want to rate, I'm going to say do 4 by 3. Okay, so I want um, 4 columns and 3 rows. And if I do interactive, create and just drag the mouse button, and there go our wires. So I just drag to, to where I want them to be. Right, and that's done. Now, if I view it in 3D, on the back bottom you see the wires. And on the top, the properties, even the pots, so now I can see um, the pads. The wires, and if it goes over, you can see the um, solder mask around it. And if I go on properties, explore, explore that shows you what the inside of the um, pin circuit board would look like. Now, the great thing about using um, converting this surface mount pad to a uh, throw pad is. The router can connect to either the top or the bottom, which is great. So it makes it easier for routing. And fit to us. And so what we've done, done now is created um, an additional pad, which is for the thermal wave. Um, we've had um, 12 wires. Uh, some people call them heat pipes, or other people call them thermal wires. And the purpose of these is to help just to dissipate it from the device to the rear and not the rear which is this, this is the rear you actually attach a um, heat sink okay and the only thing to do now is actually finish off naming these symbols um, name the, the, the device type and I'm done okay thanks very much for watching